Did you know that Sydney is turning seawater into drinking water? Let me show you how. G'day guys, we're just here at the first step of our desalination process here at the Sydney desalination plant. This is where we bring the seawater into the site. We actually have a large tunnel that brings our seawater in, 1.2 kilometres away from the plant and about 300 metres offshore. Through these drum screens, we usually just pick any foreign materials up, seaweed, plastics and so forth. And we're only filling up a herbicide rubbish bin once a month. Here we are at our, our next step of our desalination process, our pre-treatment filtration, where we're just trying to make the seawater as clean as possible before it moves on to the next step, which is our reverse osmosis membranes. This process involves effectively sand and coal filtration, where we're trying to make those dirt particles as big as possible. They get caught in our filter media and get removed, and then the clean water will move on to the membrane process. This is where the magic happens. From the last step, we've got super clean seawater that now gets pushed at high pressure up to 60 bar, which is like shooting water 600 metres in the air through a membrane. That membrane rejects any salt and any other impurities. And we have saltier seawater that gets rejected and fresh water that then goes to the next part of the process where we turn it into drinking water. The water has now come through the reverse osmosis membrane process and it's ultra, ultra pure. So we're, we need to add some minerals back into that process. So we add hydrated lime then we chlorinate and fluoridate to meet Australian drinking water guideline standards and then we distribute that to Sydney Waters Network. At this point, the drinking water produced by the desalination plant is stored in the tank behind me where it's pumped into our network at Erskineville. Our system operations centre then distributes across Sydney Waters Network.